You know, viewers, I wasn't originally gonna make a, a, a video about this, but it, this this is something I have to acknowledge. I don't know what is going on with DC lately, but this new decision that they're that they have come up with it, it's it's not official, but it's a rumor. But if it ends up being true, I may have to do what is t what the title is. I may have to convert tomorrow. I've been a DC. DC has always been my comic group since I've been a kid, but perhaps that DC has finally died out. I just got, I just, I, I just found out that it is possible that the Justice League movie may end up have nothing to do with the standalone films, which means that over the next, say, five years, we're going to have a Justice League movie with, say, five to six characters or actors playing as, you know, the individual heroes, and then the standalone films be different and have nothing to do with the Justice League movie. So you're planning on having two different DC storylines revolve around the same group of characters and have nothing to do with each other? This has to be by far the dumbest thing I've ever heard DC doing. I, I mean, it was bad enough that they decided that they were going to redo the, the new uh, Batman animated series, which is called Beware the Batman, I think, or something like that. And they want to make it more, and they quote, kid-friendly. Yeah, you know, you guys tried this with uh, Batman and Robin back in 97, and, uh, yeah, it didn't work out too well. Well, this is precise, you heading down the same road that we, that, what, what is going on? Look, I'm sorry, but I have to acknowledge this. Marvel, I may not have always been, like, a Marvel supporter. I've always been thinking maybe their movies are overrated, they're not that great. I mean, heck, I, I, I would say I didn't quite love the Avengers as much as the, most people did, but I have to acknowledge that Marvel knows how to make movies better. I mean, don't get me wrong, DC's animated department just totally destroys Marvel's, but it's really in the box office, it's in the theaters, it's on the big screen, that's where the real money comes in. And it just seems that DC is so concerned that they need to make a movie that sur that not only matches or surpass Avengers, that if they can't do that, then they're, they're going to be inferior. Look, I understand that DC is worried. I understand that. But do not let what Marvel is doing distract you and make you want to rush these projects out or attempt to take unnecessary risk that could end up destroying your entire company. I mean, let's be honest, people. Outside of Batman, has DC put out anything good? Last time I checked, the only thing outside of Batman in terms of films that was ever any good were maybe the first two Superman movies. And that was... I'm not even sure if DC took much credit for that, and that was back in the 80s. So it's safe to say that DC, outside of Batman, has not made really any good DC films for 30 years. That is very bad. I mean, heck, push comes to shove. Worst case scenario, what if Marvel ends up buying the rights to Batman, and then we see Batman join the Avengers? Then DC is pretty much dead. Marvel has killed its own competition with one swift blow, and it looks like we are heading down that same path. Look, if anybody big in DC is watching this, do not make this decision of making these standalone films have nothing to do with the Justice League. They need to connect. You don't necessarily have to copy Marvel's technique of having the team separate, then come together, break up come together, break up, and come together, because that's actually a form of storytelling I think is going to work against Avengers, because it just takes one flop to ruin that whole process. If anything, what you need to do is you need to make a series of these standalone films, and then have them all come and connect at one point, and then do the Justice League movies. We need to be familiar with these characters. We need to know what they've done so we can see where they're going and exactly what they will bring to the Justice League as a team. That is what we need to see first. You can't just throw them out there and don't do the whole breaking up thing because if there's one thing the Justice League has over the Avengers is that they don't really break up. New members are constantly coming and going, but they have never really legitimately all broken up and gone their separate ways. They, will, they usually stick as a team, and I think that's the one advantage that the Justice League has over the Avengers. And there's obviously not as much tension, obviously. So, DC, final warning. 
get your stuff together and do not make these standalone films have nothing to do with Justice League or I'm afraid I'm going to have to convert to Marvel because as much as I kind of think Marvel's overrated, they know how to make amazing movies. And that is what I look for when I read my comic book storylines. Now, if you guys feel the same way or have comments on, on this idea, please comment them down below and tell me what you think. Do you think this is a smart idea for DC to be doing this? Or do you think this is quite possibly one of the dumbest things they've ever done? And what would happen if Batman goes to Marvel? Could you imagine that? It's, it's definitely seeming possible. Anyway, that's all I got to say on this topic, and I'll see you guys next time.